in this video i'm going to be helping you to choose the right simple face wash for your skin type i found peace in your violence can't tell me there's no point in hi guys hi beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is akune kamsi and i'm a content creator based in abuja and if you're not new here you're very much welcome back to the channel as someone who has tried all the simple face wash in this video i'm going to be helping you to choose the right simple face wash for your skin type simple face wash is one of the face washes i started using when i started my skincare journey and i still use them till today so in this video i'm going to be reviewing all the simple face wash in the market and i'll also be giving my honest opinion about this face wash and i'll also be telling you which one you should get based on your skin type if that's what you're looking for in this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up please subscribe and let's get right into the video so simple face wash comes in seven different variants and these seven different variants are simple micellar face wash simple purifying face wash simple refreshing face wash simple age resisting face wash simple vitamin c glow face wash simple moisturizing face wash and simple antibacterial face wash so in these seven different variants i have only tried six of simple face wash the only face wash i haven't tried is the antibacterial face wash so in this video i'm not going to be reviewing the antibacterial face wash since i have not used it personally but the remaining six which is what i will be reviewing in this video all simple pro they come in this type of tube all of them in this type of tube but just that different variants have different colors you get 150 ml worth of product from all the variants of simple product now in nigeria you could get them between 5000 to 6000 depending on where you're getting them from i also want you to note that some variants are more expensive than the other so you will not come and say oh oh i got refreshing 5000 5, i should get purifying 5000 no some variants are more expensive than the other but the range is between 5000 to six thousand anything more than that mm, i don't know that's i said depending on where you get it from right face wash can last for you between one to three months depending on how you as individual use your face wash all simple variants contains no color no alcohol no fragrance no mineral oil they are non-comedogenic which means they don't break you out they contain no harsh chemical and the acuity and vegan free this face wash are dermatological tested and they contain a ph of 5.5 which is a very good ph which is closer to the ph of your skin so the first simple product we're going to be looking at is a simple refreshing face wash so the simple refreshing face wash was the second face wash i used from the line of simple this face wash is very gentle get out all the impurities the dirt from my skin without stripping my skin so for consistency it is gel like like clear like transparent gel like cleanser feeling of an essence like a serum like snail mucin essence it is slimy it's not as slimy as snail mucin but it is slimy it's runny in consistency like when it comes in contact with water it ladders but it doesn't ladder as much as you know how you some face wash will ladder it will bring bubble it will bring foam it will bring a lot no this face wash ladders but it doesn't ladder so much like your normal traditional face wash the key ingredient in this face wash which is simple refreshing face wash is water you have propane glycol glycerin which are humectants humectants are ingredients that help in drawing water into the skin you also have panthenol which is pro vitamin b5 panthenol help in moisturizing soothing and anti-inflammatory property it also contains vitamin e which is an antioxidant and it also contains citric acid what citric acid does in this wash is that it is a mild exfoliant and also help as a ph adjuster so these are the key ingredients in this face wash. My experience basically was when I use this cleanser, this cleanser does not strip my skin 
from its natural oil like when i use the cleanser my skin feel very very hydrated basically it doesn't feel very dry it doesn't feel like i just use the cleanser like something very tight you no know, my skin does not feel like that then this cleanser does not lather like it does not foam it does not bring bubble it's just a mild gentle cleanser that doesn't lather so much it lathers but not so much so when i use this cleanser on my face it feels very cooling it feels very refreshing like the name goes refreshing simple refreshing face wash. that's how you you feel so when you rinse off cleanser off your face you feel like a film on your skin which is the moisturizing effect it doesn't dry up your skin so it gives you that hydrating moisturizing effect on your skin the moisturizing effect doesn't make my skin feel tight or dry so that's from my experience although on the package the pack of this cleanser it says every skin type but from my experience or from me using this cleanser if you have a dry skin dry dehydrated skin you're going to love this cleanser because it gives you this moisturizing effect doesn't strip your skin but if you have an oily skin or you have an, ac an acne prone skin or you're someone that loves where you're using cleanser foam you love everywhere like you love like when you finish washing your face you know yes i've washed my face this cleanser is not for you someone with a normal skin can also enjoy using this cleanser so even though you have an oily skin but let's say your skin barrier is compromised maybe you've been using a lot of active you can use this cleanser in place of your normal cleanser which is already harsh for you next face wash you're going to be looking at is the simple purifying face wash yeah this is it this is a simple purifying face wash um this is this is not really my favorite thing i didn't really enjoy using this cleanser for consistency it is a it is a gel like clear transparent cleanser compared to the refreshing this is thicker i don't know if you can see uh, i don't know if you can it's thicker see even for it to come down from the tube is a problem this one is thicker see it's like um see now it's like i don't know what to describe it as it's like um jelly it has some tiny grains on it i think that was one of the things that gave me a no-no for the cleanser it has some tiny i don't know if you can see this thing it has some tiny just some tiny grains on the cleanser it's like um sand like little 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 tiny tiny sand feeling that's the word then secondly it doesn't lather it doesn't lather that much even when it comes in contact with water wait let me add water to this thing so you can I don't know if you can see i've added water it gives me a feeling as if i'm rubbing gel with little sandy grains on my face when i use this cleanser yes that's what this cleanser gives me this is this is with water oh let me add again this is with water it doesn't lather so much the key ingredient in this cleanser is zinc glycerin which is a humectant it contains thyme thyme has antibacterial properties which help in fighting acne caused by bacteria it also contains witch hazel and witch hazel water now witch hazel is known to help in treating acne and is also known to ease out inflammation and irritation it contains hydrated silica hydrated silica is what gives it that grainy thing that i said i don't like it contains niacinamide do you guys know what niacinamide does niacinamide is very good if you are acne prone niacinamide helps in treating acne also and it also contains panthenol so these are the ingredients in this cleanser right so when i use this product on my skin it has tiny grains i already talked about that now when i use this product these tiny grains does not melt or disappear into the skin it is there throughout like you saw this product does not really lather so it feels like creamy products with tiny grains in them it is gentle when you finish washing your face with this cleanser and you rinse off the cleanser your skin does not feel tight but at the same time it does not give you any moisturizing effect 
you will also feel like you just washed your skin it doesn't feel tight your face don't feel dry your face does not feel stripped off of this natural oil or moisture or anything so this is suitable for acne prone skin with the in with the key ingredient in this product if you're acne prone you're going to benefit from this face wash if you have oily skin you also love this face wash but if you have dry dehydrated sensitive skin please stay away from this face wash because this face wash will be drying to your skin it will feel your skin is going to feel dry the next face wash we're going to review is a simple moisturizing face wash now this was the third simple face wash i used from their line and my skin loved it i have a combination skin so because i have combination skin and i can be oily sometimes this face wash got the job done for my skin and i really loved it consistency this is a gel like face wash i'm going to put image of well, a video i had when i used this face wash right but it is not transparent like the refreshing it is in between clear and transparent so it's like a milky not milky white a milky clear face wash gel like it is quite runny it is not thick it is runny in consistency it is lightweight when this face wash comes in contact with water it lathers very well compared to the two face wash i think this is the yeah this is the face wash that lathers the most among all the six variants i have used right this moisturizing face wash lather the most but note it does not lather to bring bubbles and then um, foam the key ingredient in this product is water you have glycerin you have propan glycol which are humectant you also have panthenol you have vitamin e you have sodium laurel sulfate now sodium laurel sulfate is the cleaning agent in this face wash and sodium laurel surface has been found to have some drying effect on the skin so you should just take note of that also it also contains bisal pronol bisal pronol has antioxidant properties and it also help in anti-aging of the skin let's talk about my experience what i noticed about this clean size that it ladders it ladders compared to the other cleansers i have used this gentle it doesn't strip your skin like your skin feels tight and dry no. so but when you use this cleanser your skin feels clean this is suitable for oily skin girlies if you have oily skin if you have acne prone skin so you will enjoy this cleanser you're going to enjoy this cleanser if you have dry skin if you have dehydrated skin don't bother using this cleanser because it's going to strip your skin your skin is going to feel tight and your skin is going to feel dry so the next simple face wash we're going to be looking at is the simple age resisting face wash now this face was really i'm smiling i really love this face wash this face wash was very mild gentle and my skin loved it so much milky gel cleanser this cleanser is lightweight it is runny it is not thick it is quite runny in consistency when this face wash comes in contact with water it lathers very very well so the key ingredient in this product is sodium laurel sulfate propan glycol it contains panthenol serine citric acid it contains vitamin e it contains mushroom extract it contains oats beta glycan green tea extract now green tea has been shown to have antioxidant property and it contains thymolmyl thymolmyl has antibacterial and anti-inflammatory property so for my experience when you use this cleanser on your face this cleanser is gentle it is mild it doesn't strip your skin from its natural moisture your, when you use this cleanser your skin doesn't feel so dry your skin will feel clean like you will know you use the cleanser on your skin so if you're someone that you love when you finish cleaning your skin you love when your skin feels like i just cleaned my skin you're most definitely going to enjoy this cleanser so if your target is anti-aging if your skin if your your skin concern is of anti-age you're most definitely going to enjoy this cleanser 
now any skin type can actually use this cleanser whether you have sensitive skin i really love it whether you have dry skin whether you have um, oily skin acne prone skin you can actually you can use this cleanser your skin is definitely going to love this cleanser but if you have maybe oily skin and you're also trying to target anti-aging you have dry skin and also anti-aging is also a problem for you most definitely you're going to love this cleanser you should incorporate this cleanser into your routine now i also want you to note that cleansers are not effective in treating skincare concerns because they are rinse off products if you want to treat any skincare concern i will tell you to um, use serums because serums have always has high concentration of active that will target that skincare um, concern you are trying to treat so if you're trying to treat a certain skincare concern please invest in leave-on products like your serums your toners you know invest in that one essence you know but if you're trying to treat a skincare concern face wash is not your first option but this particular face wash is good for people if you're trying to treat anti-aging skin but is it going to do magic for you no but it's going to still help in its little way so the next face wash is a simple vitamin c face wash i want you to note about this face wash there are two types so you don't make the mistake i made there's a face wash that states on the packaging vitamin c plus antioxidant plus natural clay i leave both face wash on the screen then the second face wash is the one that says vitamin c b3 pro vitamin b5 natural yuzu natural yuzu right yes i'm going to leave it somewhere here leave here so you can look at them very well now the the one i got is the one with natural clay i think it's with somewhere here then there's a one they call natural yuzu now the natural yuzu is a gel cleanser i did not get that one I can't review that one because that's not what i got and i haven't used it the one i got is the one here which is the natural clay so that's the one i'm going to be reviewing in this video so i want you to take notes about these two which one will i tell you to get this one the natural yuzu not the natural clay so let's review the natural clay consistency this is a creamy white thick face wash in quotes it's more like a clay max with little sandy grain when you apply this product and you put water it does not lather at all in short you'll be feeling like you're applying a cream with grains the key ingredients in this product are glycerin bentonite which is a clay we have sodium laurel sulfur acetate which is the cleansing agent in this clay mask. You have vitamin E, you have pantenol, you have sodium ascorbyl sulfate. Now, this is a variant of vitamin C. This variant of vitamin C is a very stable vitamin C, soluble in water, and it's not a vitamin C that will deoxidize easily. So it's a very stable form of vitamin c we also have ginger root juice which help in anti-inflammatory anti-oxidant properties and also ginger helps in rejuvenating the skin you also have bamboo root extract this bamboo root extract is derived from bamboo tree and it is a silica grainy powder which has anti-inflammatory properties so these are the key ingredients in this product experience when using this product it's more of a face mask physical scrub than a cleanser it does not lather at all at all at all it does not lather it is more like a mask not a wash if you want to still get this product please endeavor to have another face wash beside this one this product cannot be used every day because it is a physical scrub and you cannot use physical scrub on your skin i personally i don't like physical scrub 
So you can imagine the shock <laughs> when I got this product. I'm going to be using this product. Please, you have to have another cleanser. It does not lather. So you're not going to even feel like you cleaned your skin. One, it's going to feel like you're using a face mask or a physical scrub on your skin. And physical scrub is not something you want to be using every day. You get it? If not, you're going to ruin your skin. To be very honest, I did not like it. But I did see results, but I didn't like it. Because my mind was that I was buying a face wash, not a physical scrub or a clay mask. Because I already had clay mask, right? So, if you're going to be using this as a clay mask, very, very good. You just apply it, leave it on your skin, then wash it off. That's fine. But this as a, as a face wash, hell no. And even clay mask, you can't use clay mask every day so this is not a product that you need to be using every single day the result i saw when using this product as a cleaner is that it brightens the skin it unclogs your pores yes and then it makes your skin very smooth and soft as a cleaner because me i didn't use this thing to wash on my face i hate physical scrub you i i preach it in this channel all the time don't use physical scrub on your face so i'll basically just apply it on my skin leave it for some time then come back and wash it off the skin type that need to avoid this thing is if you have sensitive skin run don't even bother buying this thing but any other skin type can use this product as a clay max not a facial wash but if you're someone that enjoys using physical scrub on your face that as in you have coconut head you don't use to hear what you can decide to buy it but you cannot use this every single day nothing is look at what you're buying if it's a natural yuzu then that is a gel cleanser i haven't used it but i cannot give you a review in this video because i have not used it but if you're buying natural clay it is a clay max with with a touch of physical scrub next face wash we'll be reviewing is a simple micellar face wash this face wash this is my baby oh my god this is my favorite face wash among all the simple range. I love this face wash so much. I keep buying this face wash. I've used like almost five packs of this face wash. That's, that's to show you how much I love this face wash. This is my baby. My baby. <laughs> so this face wash is gentle, mild doesn't strip your skin doesn't make your skin feel tight this face wash contains cleansing bubbles which are called micelles now what micelle does is that they attract impurities dirty on your skin and they also hydrate your skin for consistency this is a gel like as you can see it is a gel like cleanser the gel like cleanser it is quite runny it feels like um, what is it called? Serum essence. As you can see, it's very, very lightweight. It is also slimy. I don't know if you can see. It comes in contact with water. It lathers, but it doesn't lather so much, right? Let's let me show you when it comes in contact with water. Uh, can you see this? It lathers, but it does not lather so much. Look at that. It lathers, but it doesn't lather as much as your traditional cleanser. It is mild, it is gentle, it cleanses the skin without stripping it. I love this cleanser so much. I don't know if you can see. I don't know if you can see. It lathers, but it doesn't lather so, so much. The key ingredient in this product is glycerin, propanglycol, panthenol, vitamin E. E, citric acid and it also contains what is called pentavitin now pentavitin helps in hydrating and moisturizing your skin from my experience when i apply this cleanser on my face it feels cooling it feels very gentle it is mild it does not strip my skin from its natural oil it lathers but it doesn't lather so much when i wash my skin with this thing and i rinse it off it's my skin feels much moisturized my skin feels very plump skin feel very supple smooth soft hydrated my skin does not feel dry it doesn't strip my skin it is so nice like you also feel you washed your skin like but in a good way you don't feel like your skin is tight you don't feel like your skin is dry you just you know that yes i my skin feel clean this cleanser is suitable for people who has sensitive skin normal skin 
and combination skin like i said in this video i have combination skin so that is why i think i love this cleanser so much. oily skin or acne prone skin you may feel like this cleanser did not clean your skin well so this comes to the conclusion of this video i hope this video was helpful i hope this video guides you when you go to select or buy a simple facial wash in the market if you found this video very helpful please don't forget to give me a thumbs up please subscribe please hit the notification bell to know when next i post my next video and if you have any question whatsoever about this video please don't forget to leave it in the comment section i'll be there to answer your question and i will see you in my next one thank you so much for watching and i love you so much bye Room 2110, I knocked on the door at the penthouse suite Cause I needed more from you